So what you've done here is to build a, an, an eight voice synthesizer. There's four, four drum voices, one on each stick, tap it, and then one, and then, and then an accelerometer on each foot, an accelerometer on the tips of the drum sticks, and then there's a, uh, a pick, a virtual pick, which is an accelerometer, plus a set of four buttons which tells you which string is being uh, activated. And are all these carpless strong? Actually, the strings are carpless strong. The strings are carpless strong. These drums are, uh, we use the uh, FM synthesis. So you use an FM synthesis to make a, to make a kind of a, a rasty drum sound, which is good sounding. So now, so you've got the, a bass drum on one foot. What do you have on the other foot? This is a snare, actually. Okay, and what you got on the sticks? I had on the stick. Cool. All right, now let's guitar. hear the guitar. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just add one more thing. And what? Add one okay. more thing. Okay, what's that? So there are recording feature and replaying. Oh. Like little sound effect for guitar and they the last one is like there are only four buttons for guitar so like when I push this button I also have like, different notes. You really notice that when the uh, delta is ah. off then uh, sound is different. So it's like C D E F uh, I'll do it. G A B C <laughs> All right, so so you can shift uh, different notes in and out of there. So you could imagine having that on another accelerometer on your foot, also if you with more time and more and more effort, more buttons or whatever. And, uh, we change the uh, damping coefficient a little bit. If you press this button, then the string sound change a little bit. Ah, it's a little bit flatter kind of sound, yeah. quite sure. Okay, so so you so you can choose the string dynamics to some extent uh, again because it's carpless strong, which is a physical simulation of the of the uh, of the string. Cool. And did you say you had a recording, recording capability yeah. here? So uh, let's let's see that. So that recording that begins. Okay, let's play it back now. So, recording is off. Cool. Yeah, not doing anything. No hands, huh? And how does the recording work? Does it just record the events? Is that what it does? It, it, it rec yeah. records the time that the, the, the clock is on or off for the ISR. So basically, the, the, what the ISR makes the sound produces the sound and like what the main loop the main main function does is to set the flag for the ISR and then the sound just like to, to show that a pluck has occurred yeah. or, or a stomp so has every occurred. time I like play something then that uh, flag goes up and then every time that happens then it will record the uh, uh, current time and then that's a that I mean store that into an array and we just basically read the array one by one, and that's how... How, how big is the array? How many events can you store? So it's either two, about two hours, or 100 like, clocks for each button. So it's like... Wow, so you can, you can store a long performance then. But that uses a lot of memories. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's almost like 100%. Okay, so. cool.